So for those of you guys who are still playing Battlefield 2042 and are... Oh! Hey, there we go. A little live commentary here for you guys. But anyway, uh, so for those of you guys who are still playing Battlefield 2042 uh, and you're sticking with it, uh, you may know that there was a update recently that came out, uh, which is the 4.1 update. And uh, you may know that they uh, did a few things, such as uh, nerf the sentry gun, uh, they reduced some recoil, uh, breakthrough is now only 64 players and some other minor uh, bug fixes uh, but today's video I really wanted to talk about the main attribute that I believe is going to save Battlefield 2042 and if they do this like I said I think it may be saved let's try to get these guys are right here this bar is really good there's definitely not a lot of recoil on this gun playing a little bit of a rush here uh, anyway <laughs> I get distracted uh, so the one thing that I believe is going to really change this game in the direction that it goes and really bring back the community is actually immersion so I know what a lot of you guys are thinking uh, when you hear me say immersion you may think really I mean out of all the things wrong with Battlefield 2042 you want to say immersion and some of you may be thinking yeah that, that that is a problem but is that really the main problem well I would actually argue yes so although there is so many different things in Battlefield uh, 2042 that need to be fixed. I genuinely think that if they can really focus on the immersion of this game, I think it's actually going to bring a lot of people back because that is something that they are truly missing. It's something that... Oh, what the hell? Okay, anyway. Uh, it's something that the trailer uh, really made us all think that it was going to be, was immersive looked like it but it never ended up living up to that expectation so I want to mention a Twitter poll that I'm gonna put up here on the screen now uh, uh, this Twitter poll <laughs> holy shit wow okay so that that's a typical battlefield moment so you still get those you still get those even in even in this game but uh, anyway uh, as you can see on the screen though uh, I did a Twitter poll and granted it didn't have the biggest sample size it has only nine votes but nonetheless I found it very interesting because out of this Twitter poll you will see that when you look at the results, ah, hold on, okay. When you look at the results, uh, nobody voted for immersion to be the one thing that could be made better. So um, I actually found that surprising, but at the same time, I wasn't surprised either because um, it's kind of a unpopular opinion, but I actually think that it is the, uh, the main reason and all those other answers I provided are obviously things that need to happen but I'm gonna to explain to you guys why I believe uh, immersion is the main thing that needs to be fixed for Battlefield 2042 to have a comeback so when you take games like Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 4 uh, those games were very very immersive I think we've never had a game more immersive than Battlefield 1 so those those two games were arguably uh, some of the best Battlefield titles that had ever been released and the similarity that the two have is that they were both very immersive. I think Battlefield 1 more so than uh, 4, uh, but, you know, Battlefield 5 was immersive. I don't think it was, I think it could have been better, but it was immersive as well, and it ended up uh, uh, making a good comeback, um, you know, because when you look at Battlefield 5 at the start, it really did not feel like World War II, and then, you know, they started releasing some better maps uh, that, you know, fit that scene a little bit more um, and you know uh, like the war on the Pacific uh, all that stuff made it more immersive and therefore the community really really liked it a lot more and uh, I think it brought back a lot of players so you have that and this is the other reason that I say the immersion is probably more important than you know like I said uh, in, in the other options which is more content better maps and, and bug fixes is yes those are a problem but I believe um, actually, I know for a fact that all those are going to eventually come with time. So they're obviously going to come out with more content, uh, so, you know, such as maps or guns or, or, or game modes. Um, they're obviously going to have, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't say maybe necessarily better maps coming out in the future, but they will have more maps come out in the future, uh, which, you know, uh, going by the standards of what Battlefield 2042 already has, I'm sure they couldn't make anything worse. So with that said, probably better maps. And then, of course, like all battlefields, they are going to fix the bugs. So you're going to get all that with time, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get immersion uh, in, uh, uh, throughout all that time. So um, I believe that they really want to make a comeback, that they got to add... Why is this gun not working? I'm literally pressing the shoot button. <laughs> so things like this, glitches, you know, gun won't shoot. Anyway, 
Um, <laughs> so with that said, I think with Battlefield 2042, if they can really make it feel more like war, and, and when I say immersion, I mean things like, you know, removing the specialists, and if not, if they aren't going to remove the specialists, at least, you know, remove the cringy dialogue and, and the way that they look, it all takes away from the immersion. When you look at the maps, you know, most of the maps don't even seem like war, uh, like, like, like battlegrounds. They kind of just look like regular, uh, <laughs> like a stroll through the city that with no explosions. And I mean, you know, like, uh, the levolution is, is nowhere near what we thought it would be. I mean, you shoot at a building and and you know most of the buildings it's like nothing happens when when you shoot it you don't get that crazy destruction like you did on siege of shanghai uh you know or uh you know lankang dam and bf4 like all those crazy things uh that would happen oh wow i could not dodge that <laughs> there's nothing i could do there uh but you know they don't really have a lot of that in 2042 you know they got the the tornado and i think that's actually a pretty cool touch but uh, you know, when you compare it to the trailer, there it, it looked like it was going to be this crazy immersive game. And it really, I mean, when you look at the reality of most of the evolution in this game, it's nowhere near what we thought it was going to be or what the trailer made it look like. So, with that said, I think if they fix stuff like that, I believe that we are going to see a totally different game. And that's why I believe immersion is the number one thing that they need to work on to really get an audience and fan base back. To Battlefield 2042 and I've said this in a previous video and I'll say it again but I believe 2042 is going to go down as one of the best battlefields of all time and I know I know it doesn't seem like that right now it 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 is the furthest thing from that but I really believe that they uh, once they get their shit together that um it, it really is gonna be one of the greatest and uh, so unpopular opinion but I'm saying it anyway because I don't care <laughs> Anyways, Season 1 is expected to be released in June, so not much further away. We're only about a week and a half away from the release of the first season. Well, I mean, that's if it's released at the beginning of June. It could be released at the end. I'm hoping it's the beginning. Let's see if this gun works again. Nope, it's still not working. Maybe it's just destroyed? I don't know. Anyway, so hopefully with that first season coming out, um, you know, we're going to uh, really get a lot more content and, and, and better maps and all that kind of good stuff. Now, uh, definitely was horrible that it took them this long to come out with the first season but you know i believe that in time we're going to be seeing a very good game if they can really uh get the immersion down better so with that said hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and comment what you think is the most important thing that battlefield could add to make the game better and uh hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so Thanks for watching, and I'll see you inside the next one. And just as always, Tactical Squid is out.